right, tubers. Um, I'm gonna do a little video of my golf cart. Let me go pull it down here in the shade. It's electric club car, 2006 model, 48 volt DC. We got four big ass batteries under the seat, which I'll show you all in a little bit. Let me just get a shot out. They always do that. I just gotta yell at them and yell at them and make sure that. Pull it over here in the shade. Actually, we'll pull it by the spot, the one that started it all. It's off right now, but anyways, it's electric. It's a, like I said, flip car. Let me take the next strip. It's from 2006. It's a serial number. It's 0616. So 06. It's a 2006 model. It's made in Augusta, Georgia by a Club Car. Um, it's electric. Um, it's got one of the biggest electric motors I have ever seen. They're the batteries. They need to be cleaned off. Yeah, I know. They're brand new. $650 batteries right there. There's my blue Sharpie I've been looking for. Um, it about need new tires, but there is the 48 volt DC motor and transmission and the sorry excuses for shock absorbers. Which don't work. Um, I customized it, as you can kind of see Briggs and Stratton. Good engines. Um, got this, I don't even remember when. But we got it at a steal of a price. Um, only thing I ever broke on it is I hit a pothole and I snapped the leaf spring. It snapped like right there. So this tire was like horrid, like almost like wanting to fall off. Here's some more sorry excuses for shock absorbers. This is all broken. It's been like that because I hit a tree with it when I was learning how to drive it. That was a couple years ago. I think we got this in 09 or 08. I don't honestly remember, but it, um. It's made by Ingersoll Rand, the same people that make train. There's another customized decal. It actually came from a golf club, let's just put it that way. There's another customized decal, it's all scuffed up and whatnot. But yeah, that's the little tour of my golf cart, and we'll even take it for a spin. It. Here's the Goodman with his. I don't know if you can. Yeah, oh god, this flip picks up that rust on that motor like it's freaking. It's even, got, it's even gotten rustier. That's a sorry excuse for a Chinese motor. Anyways, back to the main subject of the video. Let's take this for a ride down to the mailbox and back. No, I already got the mail. Never mind. Well, let's take it for a cruise through the woods, I guess. The top speed when it's fully charged, like it is now, is around... I don't know. I haven't tested, but what I heard is it's around the fastest it'll go. Probably 20 miles an hour. It's fast, fast enough for me. But, um... I have to get my neighbor to see how fast it goes. If you got a if you got an ATV with a speedometer, you'll follow beside me at the same speed and see how fast. But anyways, we'll take this for a cruise. Oh man, I got a big old scratch in the screen on my flip. Oh well, it doesn't affect the performance of it. As long as I can see what I'm recording, I don't care if the screen's too full of mud. I can still see what. Oh what the hell? We're taking it to the neighbor's yard. He don't care. He ain't home, but he don't care. I'm going downhill, so that's why it's going a little bit faster. And I'm running my um, rechargeables in here. Because them two Rayovats down there in the cup holder are um, dead. But uh, anyways, you, back to the video. Um, you got a glove box there, and you got a little glove box here. You got four, you got two, two cup thingamabobbers. And you got even, my neighbor calls them beer holders back here. I don't know why my neighbor's weird, but um got more cup holders back here and the Provis came from a golf club you even got a ball washer there um, not get your mind out of the gutter it's not them type of balls golf balls but anyways little commentary there but yeah and um, the steering wheel was kind of effed up it was like this way and when the wheels were straight and I didn't like it so stupid me decided to um, take his cover off not knowing that it was screwed in from underneath and well I broke the cover but um yeah it's got rack and pinion steering. It's not power or anything, but um, the windshield's definitely. Oops, shit! I don't want to show my address sign. But, um, windshield's definitely seen better days. Um, it needs a rear view mirror. Um, you even got a little shoe holder there, and a little where that piece of wood is. Um, 
a little trunk. But anyways, that's the tour. And God damn it, I fucking hate these fucking rechargeable batteries. I charged them and now they're dead. Oh well, I got two new Duracells right here that should be good. But alright, over and.